Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. We're super excited to be back on the lanes finally. It has been far too long. And we are going to do our review for the new 900 Global Reality today. First 900 Global Ball we get to throw since we've signed. Uh, I think the last one I threw was a lunatic. And I've never thrown one, it's so. It's been a while. Uh, we're gonna try a bit different format too. Let us know in the comments if you like it. We're gonna do a little more where you can see every shot we throw and a couple different angles. And like I say, let us know if you like it. So the reality comes at 2000 grit. It comes with our S84 response solid reactive cover stock, features the disturbance asymmetric core, and it's also the strongest ball that 900 Global offers right now. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we're gonna see how it stacks up against the Proton Physics from Storm and the RSTX-1 from Rotogrip, just to kind of compare all three brands and see where this falls in. And I think this is gonna hook a lot. We've thrown a couple shots with it and it looks pretty strong. Let's get going. All right, guys. So I've only thrown a couple shots with this. This is my first time ever throwing a 900 Global ball, so. Let's see how she goes. A little bit slow, maybe. Strong. Yeah, it definitely, no lack of hook. You might have thrown that one a little bit slow. We've been kind of sitting slow. around for a second, but it's, uh, it's going to hook. So obviously we've seen a few other people do reviews on this ball and we could see how much it hooks. So uh, we're bowling on 41 feet, it's middle of the road, so a lot of friction to the right. And we're just trying to test on league patterns because that's what majority of bowlers are seeing. Yeah. So I think if we, uh, if we do- all, We can also relate to a lot more people if we bowl on something like this, right? Yeah, exactly. If you guys wanted to see a sport shot review, let us know that in the comments too. Yes. If you want to see what these bowling balls do on sport, we can do that. All right, let's go again. Do that one better. There we That's go. A good shot. There she is. That one felt good. Yeah, it keeps the pins really low for a strong ball. It's like, I honestly wasn't positive if that was going to get there and make it through the pins, but it got into a roll and it still got the 10 out. Yeah. So, I mean, for a strong asymmetric for you on house, especially with so many dry boards to the right, if it gets the 10 out, that's a really good sign if it doesn't fly at for 10. For sure, for sure. Okay, I'll throw one more. This. Almost got it out. Just came up the back of that one a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit, but I mean, still almost got the mixing hit, which is yeah. pretty good. Let's see what this you monster will. does for me. <laughs> as soon as I saw this ball, it kind of looked like the uh, original Rotogrip Defiant was the colors it reminded me of. Bit, so yeah. it's pretty. I uh, I like the colors so far. <laughs> Let's see if I like how it rolls. A few shots in warm-up, but it looked pretty good, so let's see. All right. He makes everything look good, so... That was pretty good. I'll take that. <laughs> I think really... it's exciting, too, because, you know, when we get to throw stuff that we didn't really think that we were going to be able to, that's... Yeah, like I said, like... A little bit exciting. It's been probably... 10 plus years since I've thrown yeah. a global ball. Yeah. And I mean, we've known, we see their stuff. We've known they've had some good stuff, especially recently. And yeah. it's exciting cool, to get yeah. to see what, uh, what they offer and throw some of the new brands. For sure. that really right really <laughs> fast just doesn't recover I mean with such a strong cover and such a strong core it just doesn't it uses the torque up so early in the lane it's never gonna see that spot if you try and open your angles up too much I'll try one more with it and see if I can make a better shot than that can't fire this one to the right as fast it's <laughs> not uh, not gonna recover from there and that's the thing, right? A strong bowling ball doesn't necessarily mean a bowling ball that's going to recover hard. It just means a ball that's going to handle oil really well. That's 
close. No, I did the same thing. Just kind of twirled it to the bottom again. All right, I got to throw one more. <laughs> that was bad. You got to end on a strike? Got it. Got to flip it back to you on a good shot. Or at least feel good about it, right? Yeah, I kind of chicken winged that one again at the bottom. I thought it was going to recover more than it did. But like I said, with such a strong cover and core combination, you got to give it some oil to mm -hmm. retain the energy in the back of the lane. I'm actually going to go two left off that. Just try and slow it down, throw it a little nicer. Maybe. Oh, that was pretty fun. That was, that was fun. <laughs> Kept that in the oil a little longer and just kind of slowed down, stayed a little softer at the bottom, threw yeah. it a little better. All right, so let's. You want to start with our RSTs? Sure. So I'm going to line up and stand in the same spot as I was with the reality, and we'll see what the difference is. I got that one a little bit wider than I wanted to, but... A little wider, and that got down the lane a little cleaner too, and that's, that's kind of what I thought would happen with the RST for both of us. It's going to be a little cleaner, a little quicker. Right. Hybrid cover versus a solid cover and a little bit weaker core numbers. Make a little move. I'm gonna go two and one right. Oh, well, it wasn't wow. pretty. I didn't throw it very good. Creating <laughs> some mist room with that there one. Go. I'm going to throw one more. Yeah, I didn't think that one was going to hold when you first <laughs> let that go. That uh, it held. little grabby at the bottom, but that little bit weaker cover. I think if you if you do that with the reality, it probably checks up two feet yeah. sooner than that and All right. rolls out and maybe leaves a mess. <laughs> Okay, so I said two and one right. Wow. wow. Physically, it looked like a lot better shot. Yeah, it felt a lot better. Yeah. But, but because it felt better, it just responded more down lane. And yeah. That just shows the difference in how much more angular that is. X1 is in the reality. You give it a go. Alright, start the same like always and then we'll adjust from there. A lot cleaner, a lot cleaner for me. A lot cleaner for me. I don't think I would have got the reality back from there either, mm -hmm. but that that went another three or four feet down the lane, it looks like, from this angle at least. Yeah. So I'm gonna go Four right with my feet. Yeah, yeah, four right with my feet. Go two with my eyes. Ooh. Didn't quite mean. Didn't quite mean to get it that wide again. These are fun but ones. <laughs> I'm throwing some pins around with these things today. I want to do that. Uh, that's. Uh, I, I don't want to do that because that's kind of just a flat ten. It's a very fancy flat tent. <laughs> also, guys, we do want to know your opinions, so let us know what your favorite ball is from the three brands. Tell us in the comments below. I'm going to go one more right. Try and keep it in a little more. That felt better. Yeah, that felt better. That got a high flush. Wow. So those are about four, four or five boards different for me. Yeah. And the X1 is 
a lot cleaner and a lot more response down lane. For sure. Which is exactly kind of what I expected it to be. The two covers are so different and the X1's a pretty responsive ball, so. All right. So the next one we're gonna do, we're gonna throw the Proton Physics. Now this these, two I, <laughs> these two I expect to be a lot, the Reality and the Proton I expect to be a lot closer to one another. Yes. Time. All right. That was the same line as the... Yeah, that was yeah, the same that line. Look pretty similar. Do it again. I, I, I really think it's just going to be really, really subtle shape differences between the two of those. Not a great combination. Miss right. <laughs> not miss it at the on bottom. It. It's not gonna be pretty. Try and give you guys a good one. Just reminds you all that we're human. And, and we, we haven't done this in a very, very long time. Yeah, I was gonna say we haven't bowled in a month or more. <laughs> so uh, bear with a few bad shots, please. It's not I bad. do like those light ones though. And I mean, if you're carrying those light mixers with the big strong balls, that's a good hit. Yeah. I mean, like, like we say, this probably isn't the ideal ball for you on this condition. Right. It's probably too much ball for me too, but I mean, we want to see what they do. Show me how it's done, D-Ron. All right, proton physics. Same line as the reality. Gonna try and make a good shot. Let's see what we can do. Try and make a good shot and don't make a good shot. I just really want to throw it to the dry and see it bounce <laughs> off it, apparently. I think if I just keep that in front of me more like I did with the reality, it's gonna get a better ball reaction yeah. out of that. That's that's my miss. My miss is always gonna be wide right. I don't generally miss a ton left. Just a matter of getting the timing back. That's better. That's a better shot. That was a lot better shot. That was better. Honestly, thought that was going to go more high flush. Um, first impression, what I see is Proton is a little bit cleaner mm -hmm. and a little bit more like hook set than the reality is. Yep. It looked like it kind of it got there, and I thought that was going to go high flush and keep it going through it, and it kind of just Sad. went straight through the pins. Like yeah. it went through the nine pin and deflected rather than going through them flush. So let's see. I'm gonna go two right with my feet, one with my eyes. See if that makes it go flush. Whoop. Yeah, almost too, almost, almost too flush. Whoa! So it's probably one different. I think realistically, there's not a whole lot of room in a bag for maybe both the Reality and the Proton. Mm -hmm. Uh, the RST doesn't really overlap with either one. It's a good ball down from both. Yep. But you could kind of pick what do you want your big oil ball to be? What do you want your big strong piece to be? Reality or Proton, they're both going to give you kind of the same thing. Just preference. Yeah, the reality is maybe a little bit earlier and a little more continuous. Yep. That's the big difference I saw. All right. I think that's a really good example 
when you got the proton physics there, it kind of just stood up and kind of went straight off the end of it. Yeah. Where that reality just really picks up and keep, keeps coming. It's impressive how continuous and rounded in, and I hate to use that word over and over, continuous, but it just, it doesn't quit when it makes that corner. It keeps going left and going through the pins. It doesn't lose as much energy. It's impressive how low that ball keeps the pins. I'm very impressed with it so far. And, yeah. And as much as I'm impressed with it for me, I'm in, I think I'm more impressed with how it is for you. And I really didn't know what to expect at all. Yeah, um, and neither did I. Yeah. Okay. A couple more. I'm gonna go a little more left and try and slow it down another another gear and see how we can get it to make the corner. Wow. I might have slowed down a touch <laughs> too much. Just a little too much. But I mean, if I can slow down and it keeps hooking like that, I'm going to be able to use this on really, really high volume stuff. <clears throat> All right, we'll try that again, but quicker than that. Yeah, I'm impressed how much recovery it has down lane for being such a strong ball. Now, do you think this is something that you'll use on like your league shot? I doubt that I'll ever see, it'll see ever see league play. Yeah. For me, same as the Proton Physics, about the strongest ball I ever bring to league is probably the X1. Right. But this is gonna be a ball that is going to be really good for like for us for team trials on the longer patterns. Yep. Anything where you need something slow, even on shorter patterns, keep my hand up the back of it. For sure, yep. It's really controllable and really strong, so I think it's going to be good for that. All right, one more good one. Yeah, I'm really impressed how much that recovers down lane. So guys, that was our review for the new 900 Global Reality. Let us know what you thought of it down in the comments. Let us know if you liked the continuous video or if you like the voiceover version better. And keep tuned for the next few videos. And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bells. Thanks for watching, guys.